I'm Miss Lisa. This is Year 7, Set 2. Um, we're doing an activity on mathematical modelling. Um, so what they need to work out is to work out how many peas will fit into my classroom. At the moment, we're at the stage in the lesson where they're coming up with a five-minute plan. So we just want them quickly to think about their ideas before they rush in. Um, I have taught this before without doing the five-minute plan, and it involved a lot of rushing in and rushing in and not really thinking about their ideas. So this is their five-minute planning time to get their ideas together. Now, instantly, what are we thinking? How are you going to work this out? Any ideas straight away? Alex, you look keen. Go on. How big the peas are. How big the peas are. Excellent, right? So in order to do that, I'm afraid I didn't want to get you green peas, but we have got some lovely bags of chickpeas. We'll have a look at some chickpeas. So you've got that to use when you need them. Any other ideas then? Lewis? You have to, like, you've got the size of the peas, so then you need to measure the size of the room, and then you have to put them together to see, see how many can fit in the actual room. Really good, Lewis. Yeah, so we'll need to know two things. How big a pea is and how big the room is in order to work this out. If you're ready, off you go. Nice and sensible with the equipment. They get lots and lots of different equipment. Um, they can use it however they want to. The idea is just how they work this out. You need to measure height times width times length. Measure the pea. Hang on, I've almost... You don't need, like, lots of peas to do it all. You only need one to, put the, to do the whole room. 0 0.7 by 0 0.7. <laughs> We've got some groups that are trying to measure the volume of the room, um, a couple with tape measures across the room, some with metre rulers, some with trundle wheels. OK, so that's uh, 27... Six metres and 27 centimetres. Okay. Some groups have moved on from that stage. They're working out the volume. Some of them are working out the volume of the lunchbox and trying to count how many chickpeas fit in it. 149, 150. And it's a little bit chaotic, um, but I think that they're under control. Um, and mainly, they're just at the stage where they're trying to gather their information. They're not doing too much on the maths at the moment. They're just getting that information, and then they're going to use it in a minute. Um, and that'll be where they find it quite difficult, I think, because they're year seven. But they will manage to get there, hopefully. We're measuring, like, 20 chickens. Because it's easier to measure 20 than it is to measure 10. So then you divide it by 20. I mean, we just need to times them all together. Like a little a hundred forty-four million thirty-three thousand. Yeah, thirty-three thousand hundred. No, wait. A hundred forty-four million. I'm writing it down. A hundred forty-four million. Thirty-three thousand a hundred and twenty. One hundred. One four four three three one two zero zero. Sorry, we're going to do it. There we go. <laughs> What did you get for the volume of the classroom, then? Oh, the volume of the classroom, we got, uh... Sorry, it's a big number. Um... Yeah, go for it. Just tell me the numbers if you want. You don't need to read out what it would be. Just tell me One, the digits. One, four, six, six, oh, seven. One, nine, two. So, like that? Yeah. yeah. And that's centimetres cubed, yeah? OK. What did you get next, then? You said you worked out the volume of the chickpea. How did yeah. you do that? Oh, well, we did the same thing, but with a centimetre ruler using centimetres. And so are you assuming that this is a, a cube or, or a cuboid, yeah. are you? Yeah. Ish. Yeah, modelling gets a cube. That's good. Thanks, George. And what did you get for the volume? Um, it was 0 0.252 centimetres. At this point, you've done really, really well. We've got the volume of the room and we've got the volume of a chickpea. Now, what we want to know is how many times will this volume fit into the volume of the classroom. Molly, what would I do? Divide the volume of the classroom, the 1460-7192, by so. the volume of a chickpea, which is 0 0.252, and you'd have how many chickpeas would fit into it. OK, so someone with a calculator, can you tell me what George's final answer would be there, then? So volume of the classroom divided by the volume of a pea, and we should get a pretty large number. Molly, go for it. Five eight one seven seven four five six point three five. Brilliant. Okay, so roughly that many peas. Can anybody pronounce that number? Do we know what it is? Fifty-eight million one hundred and seventy-seven thousand five hundred and fifty-six point thirty-three. 
three five. For three five, three five, three five. Really, really good. What am I doing? It was quite nice at the end to get an answer, although I'm not really sure quite how accurate it was, but quite a nice bit at the moment, the end, where we could talk about really large numbers and how you would pronounce them. Um, and I think they were quite enthusiastic about seeing how many P's really could fit in. But obviously, the final answer really, really doesn't matter um, because <laughs> we've made so many assumptions that I doubt that that would really be as enough P's to fill the room. <laughs> so um, it doesn't really matter what the final answer is, but it's nice to get a final answer for them to feel a bit of achievement in getting an answer.